Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go out to thrift stores, or I go to estate sales, or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist, and I look for things that either appeal to me personally, or that I think would tell me a story, and then I find out as much as I can about them, and then tell you guys about them. So, here's what I've got today. I'm going to try and be careful with this. I have a teapot. <laughs> and the lid and I really do want to be careful because this is some very fine porcelain <laughs> I'll give you a kind of a look at it the detail on it is it doesn't really look like much but it is really astonishingly astonishingly nice like I picked this up because I saw it and I looked at the inside and I thought this has been made with obviously with care and attention and that is exactly what I like to see when I when I'm looking for for things that might interest me so the design I have to say is very very lovely as well they've really just kind of gone mad with it one thing I didn't actually notice until I got home as well is that you can see the the spout this wonderful kind of swoop to it, like it's a like it's the branch of a tree. Very lovely. And then we have the the top, obviously. And the top is this lovely little 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 bulb, like a rose or what have you, with the even more flowers. Now, if we are very careful, we can measure it up. Let's see, that's about, say, eight and a half inches all the way across the spout. And then, if I'm careful, I can measure this out without knocking it over. Let's say five inches across. And the highest point, I think, is here. So if I just get the tape and kind of just stick it there, about four and a half inches high. So it's a fairly it's a fairly weighty piece. It's like it's 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 solid and it's round and it's like I can't describe what it's actually like to hold it. It is incredibly smooth and the glaze feels silky. It is very very high quality porcelain. It is very very pretty. And I bought it in a thrift store for four dollars. And essentially, I picked it up and looked at it and I thought this is not normally something I'd consider, but I'm considering it in this case because it looks so beautiful and it looks like it was made so well um i did the usual thing i checked to see was it actually damaged and to be honest considering my track record with actually damaging stuff and buying things that accidentally you know accidentally that has damage i really need to be more careful about that but anyway the other thing that i looked at it was the mark now the mark is very fuzzy <laughs> we can see that it says original d bohemia then something that kind of is unreadable and made in just barely there, you can see it, although it's incredibly fuzzy, it says made in Czech or made in Czech Republic. So the question is really, is that enough for us to go on to kind of like start figuring out what this is? And it turns out that yes, it is because I got this word and I kind of just plucked out a few letters from it and kind of just threw stuff in there into Google and Google just kind of figured out, oh, are you talking about this? And I was like, yes, yes, I am talking about this. That word is Zweibelmuster. And that is apparently the German for blue onion. And that's exactly what we want because it tells us all kinds of fun information about this particular teapot. So to start off with, the Zweibel muster is basically referring to this particular pattern, this underglaze blue on white, on white porcelain. And there's there's quite a lot of it. If you, if you actually just put like, it says here, original Zweibel muster blue onion Czechoslovakia, it's kind of like... <laughs> There's a lot of kind of mix and matching going on here and people are getting what I can only describe as confused about what something really is, okay? Now, because take a look at this. This is Meissen, so I have a Mooster Rare Teapot and it's listed here, 350 euro. Somebody actually bought that for 350 squids. And take a look at that. It's like, isn't that the same pattern or it looks really a lot like it? And oh my God, do we want to get excited about it? No, hold her. Hold your horses here, okay? <laughs> So we know, we have to find out, first of all, what's going on with Zweibelmuster. What is the blue onion? And the answer to that is on Wikipedia. Blue onion, German Zweibelmuster, is a porcelain table or pattern for dishware originally manufactured by Meissen since the 18th century. Since the last 19th century, it's been copied by other companies. Now, Meissen is like one of, basically one of the greats when it comes to, you know, like European 
like porcelain manufacturer. They basically saw what the, the Chinese like the Chinese were doing with porcelain and said, I want a piece of that. And they started trying to do something like it in Europe. And by and large, they succeeded a lot. I, like, I would love to find a piece of proper original Meissen por like porcelain somewhere in a thrift store. I think that would probably make my day and then some. <laughs> It's, I mean, I don't expect to see it because it'd probably be incredibly rare, but I just think it would be incredibly cool. <laughs> so anyway, the onion pattern was one of these things that Meissen came up with and they they kind of just went nuts with it. They, they, they produced it as kind of, and based it on Chinese designs. And the really fun thing is that like Chinese porcelain obviously had pomegranates, but they tried, like in Germany, they had no idea what that was. <laughs> so they kind of just, you know, kind of improvised and put together a pattern that they thought would play better in, in their, their market effectively and came up with blue onion and the it's it's incredibly fun i have to say to actually just take a look at like all of these listings um because there's a lot of different like companies doing a pattern that's called survival booster and all of the search results if you actually go looking for what well, as i have here survival booster teapot all of the search results are poisoned with just stuff from random companies and it's going back at least like a hundred years if not longer it's it's incredible like the uh let's see now if i can get this to load up images come on yeah I'll give you some idea here you see like we've got here you've got like these are probably coffee pots there's an entire set there and it sees this one is by Stanek. this is burley but it's a you know it's a different it's gonna be something similar again we've got actually bohemian czech original which well what does that mean <laughs> and we have a few others here this is vintage first and blue onion but like there's there's going to be a little variance on it and there's going to be a lot of companies doing this and so now you gotta ask yourself the question what about this do we actually have a price on this and so well first of all who's original d bohemia um and to be honest I've, I've done some research in this as far as i can figure out the d actually refers to the town where the company is based and I cannot remember what it is. I forgot I lost the page now. Um, but we do actually know that the name of the company is Original Bohemia. And I do know about that. Because we have a quick entry for them here. Original Bohemia. And this is on CheckMadeDesign.com. The other interesting clue we've got from this is obviously it says made in the Czech Republic. And as we know, the Czech Republic was not a thing until 1993. Which means that technically this can this is probably not a vintage piece. It's been, well, you know, if you're going to call it more than 20 years, uh, I don't know. I would say it's probably more than likely been weighed within the last 20 years. So it's technically it's a contemporary piece. Yeah, well, so we do actually have. So what do we got? We've got some information about Original Bohemia, the actual company. And there's there's a little bit of information here. I'll put it down in the description as well, if you're curious. Like, basically, what they do is make very high end porcelain. And one of them is this, the reproduction of the very famous blue onion pattern in the underglaze style. They have a little bit here, which basically just describes like like the fact that Meissen were actually making this pattern and that they, you know, that their stuff is, you know, is, is made based on that. And porcelain with the onion pattern has been produced and delivered by the company since 1805, first under the name Meissen, and since 1956 under the trade warp design muster. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if they specifically have a trademark, like maybe if Meissen, I think they are still around, maybe they have a trademark for soil muster and they just give it out to people to use, I don't know. We do know about this particular company at least and that is they are based in the czech republic um this is this as far as i can tell Czech made design is like their their you know their their branding company their marketing company you know the, the guys who do their pre-or okay and what this company is is they make very very high-end porcelain <laughs> so anyway having said all of that once we have kind of an idea what this is it's a contemporary piece it's it's like a kind of a reproduction or someone's take on what is considered to be a very old and very classic like style which is the blue onion but what is it actually worth based on all of that and if we go over to you know a good friend ebay and just take a look at so i have a mooster oh boy there's a lot of it and the prices are all over the place i can just all over the place there's a lot of different ones here there's a bunch of them from different ebay sellers and basically i don't think anybody has a clue like what their stuff is worth because obviously they just do the quick google search and then never you know kind of just you know, look at some comps and like oh look there's you know there's Weibel Muster teapot selling for like 300 euro you know it must be worth a fantastic amount of money <sighs> no look it's it's not the case if i just do a quick check on sold items like 
it's gonna be variable and we have to we do actually have here original bohemia check blue floral blah 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 that's why we muster again but that is selling for 11 you know 11 36 canadian okay we do have some comps for for original bohemia but i'm ho and i'm hoping that's consistent i'm not 100 percent sure there could be a little bit of way, like fuzziness here because obviously this pattern has been reproduced by basically everything. The nice thing though is that there are sold comparables and there, unfortunately, there isn't one for this particular teapot. But I have done some work and kind of eyeballed it a bit. I think this is probably worth about $40. <laughs> or at least I intend to sell it about for that. Maybe yeah, maybe it'll sell for more or for, for less. It will, we shall have to see. I'm going to be happy if I can just maybe get $20 for it and get the shipping paid for. Again, I only bought it for $4 Canadian, so yeah, make it out of what you want. Anyway, as teapots go, this is definitely a pretty fine one. Um, I do especially like the little, the little bud at the top. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> and the pattern itself is incredibly nice. It's lovely to look at. It's, and it is like a very classic style. So this is my small joyful thing for the day. I hope you guys like it as well and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.